For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show how you can read a rotary encoder inside of CircuitPython. This is really straightforward thanks to our Rotary I.O. library. I'm using one of our Trinkies that's made for running a rotary encoder, but you could plug a rotary encoder into most any microcontroller. What we do in CircuitPython is we're importing the board so we have some pin definitions, and we're importing Rotary I.O. library. Then with that Rotary I.O. library imported, we can do this. The encoder, this is the encoder object, equals Rotary I.O. dot incremental encoder. And then we point to the two board pins. In this case, the board pins are named rote A and rote B, which is super convenient. I want to print out when it turns its position. Then this is the main loop of the program. While true, if encoder dot position is not the last position. So encoder dot position, that's all you have to ask for to find the value of what the encoder is doing. As I turn this little knob here, that's turning that rotary encoder shaft, and that is being read by the little trinky there. The microcontroller is noticing those changes on its two pins, the rotary A and rotary B pin. Uh, and then I'm printing out there that change. So you can use this for things like volume controllers. You can use this for things like MIDI CC, uh, for mouse control, for moving a mouse on one axis. There's a lot of ways to use it but it is dead simple to use. And that is all it takes to read a rotary encoder inside of CircuitPython using the Rotary I.O. library. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.